My name is Skylar Weber, and I studied abroad in Constance, Germany during my fourth year majoring in biomedical sciences in German as part of the interdisciplinary global program, IGP. So why did I want to study abroad? Growing up, I watched most of my cousins study abroad and observed the unique opportunities they gleaned from their individual experiences and knew I wanted to take my education to the next level by studying in a foreign country while learning a second language during my college career. I believe studying abroad would be a wonderful way to broaden my horizons and worldview, as well as feed my passion for world travel and learning about other cultures. The semester I spent in Constance did just that, while exceeding my expectations and giving me experiences I could not have anticipated having before boarding the long transatlantic flight. The most common question I got from other students, both local and international, was why Germany and why Constance? During my sophomore year of high school, I was very fortunate to be able to travel to a few European countries, including Austria and Switzerland, and I absolutely fell in love with the scenery and German culture I was exposed to there. I decided that summer on the way back to the US that I wanted to visit Germany in sub-capacity someday, always keeping that dream in the back of my mind. Similar to many other students all over the world, I chose Constance for the mesmerizing scenery and gorgeous views all over the city. Walking along Lake Constance, strolling through a forest near my apartment, and sitting in classes with a crisp, clear view of the Alps out of the windows made the experience feel almost as if I was on a never-ending vacation. I had also researched internship opportunities within the biomedical sciences at the University of Constance and found great interest among the biological and biopharmacological labs affiliated with the university. From the moment I landed in Germany, okay, well, maybe from the moment I recovered from my jet lag a few days later, I had this energy to explore and this ambition to discover the new world I would call home for the coming months, wanting to take everything in and experience as much as I possibly could. This feeling has been, giving, has been given the acronym FOMO, or fear of missing out. And while this sometimes carries a negative connotation, I believe I harnessed that feeling, allowing it to lead me to a, try a variety of new things, meeting lots of interesting people. While this feeling dulled as time passed, it never truly went away, yet in retrospect, I am grateful for that. Rather quickly, I went from knowing absolutely no one to having formed different levels of connections with a diverse group of people from a variety of backgrounds and cultures. Spain, France, Italy, Germany, Australia, Hungary, and Canada is just a short list of the countries my friends were from and the different cultures I would soon learn more about. I formed a close relationship with my German buddy, who then in turn introduced me to her German friends, toured me around the university, showing me all of the local spots and the best study locations, and planned a weekend trip for us to visit the Rhinefall in Switzerland. These people would, over the next six months, be my friends, my moral support, my travel buddies, but most of all, become my family. The people I would have international dinners, spontaneous coffee outings, and late night talks with, while simultaneously making invaluable memories and forming lifelong friendships. One thing of unique about the IGP program is the length of time students take to prepare for their abroad experience. I was already learning German for three years before continuing my language learning and immersion in Germany. Looking back, I realized some friendships I made or cultural experiences I had was solely due to my linguistic abilities to converse in the local language without too much difficulty. However, I still learned a lot of German from inside the classroom walls to standing in front of a counter ordering a cappuccino in Germany. I spoke German as much as I could everywhere I went, making embarrassing linguistic mistakes in my quote sweet American German accent. Even if you may be traveling to a country with a language you do not speak, I encourage you to learn it while there. It's a one-of-a-kind experience. The things that were once seemingly scary, like asking a stranger for directions, checking out that cafe on the corner because it looks interesting, walking down that street you haven't seen before, 
or learning biomedical science surrounded by students with a linguistical resume longer than your own seemed less intimidating and became enjoyable, truly making the experience. Aside from progressing in my German fluency and communication skills, I had a zeal for immersing myself as much as possible in the German language, in the German culture, and I believe I did just that. From enjoying Oktoberfest in Munich, tasting all of the food and desserts at the Christmas markets in various cities, strolling through the old town of Dresden, viewing the gorgeous church in Strasbourg, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, learning how to ski in the Austrian Alps, dancing in the streets during Carnival, touring a multitude of German and European cities on short weekend trips, devouring my first Belgian waffle in Belgium, to just simply savoring the sunshine along the Rhine River in Constance with a friend or two, exposed me to different German dialects, their history, and cultural frameworks. It had such an impact on me that even though I am back in the United States, some of my new patterns and ways of doing things have crossed over into my once completely American routine and perspective. Other than the linguistical and cultural challenges I met, sometimes even on a weekly basis, one of the largest personal challenges I faced while studying abroad was, in fact, studying. I loved and was interested in all of the classes I took, which wasn't the issue, and studying is honestly one of the reasons we go abroad, to expose ourselves to another academic structure and to learn as much as we possibly can as that specific opportunity cannot be found in our home country and probably won't be a possibility after we enter our professional careers. At the same time, this is probably the only opportunity one may have living long term in a foreign country, and because of this, I was always eager to travel and explore. Luckily, I was able to find a balance, studying during the week and playing in the evenings and on the weekends and breaks. After the initial growing pains and adjustment period, I found joy in being expected to learn not only a lot of different concepts and topics, but a lot of details I wouldn't have been responsible for in an American education system. I was enthusiastic about attending a variety of subject-specific presentations purely out of my own interest, and I was absolutely impressed with the caliber of the discussions I had both in and outside of classes with my peers and friends. Studying abroad also taught me so many things about myself and shaped me into an even better person with adaptability and cross-cultural communication skills that I did not necessarily have before, just to name a few. I learned I could also have wonderful and amazing travel experiences when discovering the world around me alone, as well as with friends, and that sometimes having no plan is the best plan. Being spontaneous and open-minded can sometimes lead to unexpected destinations, resulting in rather laughable adventures. No matter where you go or what you study, I believe we all inevitably face linguistic cultural, academic, and personal challenges while being immersed in a new physical and cultural environment abroad. However, those challenges combined with the enjoyable experiences we cherish while studying abroad, whether it be for a summer, semester, or a year, will create a once-in-a-lifetime experience and allow you to make memories lasting a lifetime. With an open mind and the determination to explore, the opportunities are in fact endless.